Today in this video, I'll show you how we can create Power Automate for creating records based on some field value change inside the record. So here we have account record here and uh, here you can see already the fields are uh, some values have been fitted to the fields. So the, the requirement is like whenever someone comes and change the rescheduled date, it is 23 currently. Now if I come here and if I change on 30, a new record should be created for uh, and the value like name, area, phone contact should be pre-populated in that new record which is created via Power Automate. So creating the record is easy but whenever we try to map the field called lookup that time we usually get an error called url was not passed due to an exception poor data source unrecognized path exception like that okay so you cannot give the column value directly this lookup column value directly in the dynamic content of power automate so i'm going to show you how we can map the fields and we can create the uh, records as well as well as how we can prevent it from creating going into the infinite loop so now without waste and also i have already covered two videos for power automate here if you go to the power dynamics youtube channel you can see how to send birthday email via power automate based on some particular date a mail will be sent to the to the employee whoever birthday falls on today and another one was power automate for field mapping so uh, whenever you have one option set and there are different values in that for that we have used power automate because out of the box feature doesn't support it so you can refer these videos now let's come to our power automate here let's go to the solution the concept is clear here we are going to create another record whenever someone changes the value here in the reschedule or you can uh, take any field whenever the field uh, value changes we can we are going to create another record and this value should be pre-populated in that new record okay so come here let's go to our solution dynamics power and in the cloud flows let's create a cloud flow called automation cloud flow automate it should be automated so whenever a record is being created at that time itself it will get, it'll get triggered so flow name create records when field change you can select the trigger from here but i'm just going to skip it and we'll select another interface okay now here choose microsoft dataverse now on what basis you want to run this flow so i want to run this flow whenever whenever a raw is modified or deleted or added so select the first one for the second one and now in this one i'm going to select only when it is modified see because here here already the data is filled so whenever someone is coming and modifying it that time only it should trigger not while the record creation okay so here uh, table name was table name is what is the table name come here account info and not this one accounts pd okay so accounts pd it will always show a plural name here scope let it give it for organization and now this is when a raw is modified so it will consider like when any field in the raw is modified sorry in this record is modified but no i want to filter only when this this field is getting changed that time only it should trigger so come here in the power automate and let's filter the rows select columns what is the logical name of this come here let's go to logical name and we have either you can this is the extension you can get it from here or else you can go to your power automate sorry your tables and from there itself you can get the field name logical name so this is the name logical name okay i'll show you how we can get that as well go to your tables account pd go to your columns and here the field is field is rescheduled it's okay both are same only come here just click on this one i just just an example click on advanced and in the tools you'll get copy logical name so from here for any fields you can 
copy the logical name okay i have already pasted my logical name here now uh, let's click a new step we are getting this we are going to run it on selected columns when this one changes add new step i'm going to add a new record so add a new row so select on microsoft dataverse and in this one add a new row okay now i want to create a record in this same table itself so it was account pds in this table itself a form will be created uh, let's give a name as power power dynamics record and options now the main part comes here here we have this values field right like name area phone contact so i'm going to populate this one so a uh, name i have given this one in contact we have contact here so let's give it uh, first okay let's come here and give the contact value contact value i'm giving and another field is area okay this is phone okay so area here we have we are going to give area okay simply it is showing phone because i have changed the display name okay but it is area only beneath now we are going to give this one uh, manually we are going to take a area value and we are going to we are giving contact one so if i save it right now currently it will throw an error i want to show you because this is where i also face the issue and let's paste it manually click on currently there is no any record created so let's come here and uh, change the record 30th save it so when i have changed this date here it should trigger okay flow run fail this is what url was not passed due to an o data recognition and if you see the details you'll see that the contact whatever is was passed here is not correct okay and you are getting this message here your rule was not passed so come to click on edit and here okay so here this is contact so actually we should not give the contact value here for any account for any lookup fields we are not supposed to give it so first you have to check the plural name of this contact so here this is where is contact this one right so click on this one and let's check the entity info from here itself it is contact see either you can use the extension to get the details okay or you can go to your uh, table here inside this one and uh, from here also you can get the details okay go to tools copy logical name this is for account for other tables so you can get the same way so come to your power automate here now and uh, where is area sorry contacts contact here put it and now it should be plural so contact s remember to add s here but sometimes it may be uh, the name can be different like if it is country it can be countries so you have to check the plural name of all these fields now in order to check the plural fields of every like this is very easy contact we can give it as a contacts okay but if you have so many fields then you can go to the admin center where you can get all the plural name of all the fields which are existing in your solution so not in this one this is required for the one who for whom it's custom table and if you are still getting the issue so for the confirmation you can check the plural name in the environment itself so come here in the advanced setting i think in the web resource we should be able to get all the plural names but meanwhile it is loading so come here and now give a middle bracket and in this one i'm going to put give the contact value here so contact value now let's save it and here now you can see once i change the date a uh, new table should be created 
named as power dynamics record area should be mapped as it is and contact also should be mapped as it is and uh, let's also see we have account types so i'll map this field as well account types okay what is this field? name account types this is rag status okay so actually rag status i'm going to give it as a amber okay now save it let's run it automatically the last one was failed right so we'll check if it's running correctly or not now mm -hmm. add a new row okay it has run successfully and it has mapped these value name area and contact this one so let's come and check here uh, uh, it is Here you can see the new record has been created power dynamics record and here it should be having amber value and name is dynamics record account types we have mapped as amb and amber and contact is on a cloud air now in case suppose whenever uh, the field is getting changed and you want a particular value particular lookup instead of this one whoever whatever the values in the previous record i don't want that i want to change it so suppose if I want another contact like uh, suppose test one okay so first you have to take the GUID of that contact so the, you can simply open the contacts okay and in the contact any contact you open okay last one you can see we have contact ID this is contact ID and this is the GUID so I'm going to copy it and go to your power automate and I'm going to paste it here inside the contact okay this one remove it and paste it so now it doesn't matter whoever what is the value in the previous record but in the new record which will be created by power automate only test one will be included there so save okay now let's come and change the value again of uh, raj itself and here okay here it is name is like let's give it as kd curve kd but it's going to be in a new record it should be test okay and here let's give it as red itself fine and let's change the value to 28 save it now let's check whether the, our uh, power automate has run successfully or not go back okay see the history from here okay G one second before and it ran successfully so let's come and see if that record is created or not dynamics power see there are two records now one was created 1155 another one is 1157 so let's open this and now you can see in the previous one it was curve kd but now in spite of whatever the value was previously it is taking the new value as test one so this is how you can map the lookup field in the power automate you have to give the guid or you can add the plural name before of the that value within the uh, braces now in order to know all the plural name you go to advanced setting here where is, where is it okay now inside this setting go to your administration you're not this one maybe inside cust okay inside the customization we have developer resource and here you can see the service root url okay so just copy this paste it here and you should be able to get the name here i think here itself it contains all see here actual name is account but the plural name is accounts like this only you can find others as well okay so this is all about today video uh, if you have any doubt if you are facing any error please let me know in the comment section bye